Hello, welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. If you watched the last episode, you saw Janice and I sailing across Lake Ontario on quite the breezy day, all the way to Sackett's Harbor. And when we get to Sackett's Harbor, we have two things planned. First of all, we want to do sailing lessons because Janice should really learn from somebody other than me. And we want to do a stand-up paddleboard course since Janice has just recently gotten herself a new paddleboard. And we check out some of the bars and restaurants in Sackett's Harbor. And as you can see, I totally give up on trying to be healthy. This summer's not working out for me there. So there's a lot of good stuff coming up in this episode so hopefully you stay tuned and if you're new to the channel and don't know who we are or what we're all about check this out hi we are craig and janice and welcome to cruising off duty we love to travel and to see the world and in the future we plan to do that full time that's right we're going to sell everything buy a catamaran and sail around the world but sadly we're probably a few years away from that big purchase so for now we're sailing our 35 foot beneteau around the thousand islands and it is breathtaking Oh, there's plenty of YouTube channels that'll take you all over the Caribbean, but we're probably the only channel that's gonna show you this world-class cruising ground right in the mouth of the Great Lakes in between Canada and the United States. So hopefully you wanna come along with us as we go cruising. And if you're all about the Caribbean, who knows, maybe somebody else will ask me to sail their sailboat in some tropical place. No, seriously, sir, I would go again. I, I work for free. I don't eat much. I'll sleep on the floor. I'm easy to get along with. I've got salt water in my veins. So you'll know if you watched the last episode that we were planning to do the sailing course first, but it was so freaky windy uh, when we got to Sackets Harbor, we decided to cancel it till Sunday and do the stand-up paddleboard that evening. And here I am running late to my very first class and being run by ex-military guy. Not a good idea. He made me drop and give him 20. Nah, I'm kidding. He was really cool about it. Now, Daniel and his wife, Daniela, run this stand-up paddleboard business. That's right. They actually have the same name. So you know they're meant to be together. Anyway, they were both awesome instructors, really upbeat, made it fun. Here Daniel is explaining the various features of paddle boards. They're all sort of similar, but some are wider, some are longer, some are inflated like the one we bought, some are rigid like this one here. Anyways, he goes over all the features and what to expect in case you plan to buy a paddle board. And here he's showing us something that didn't come standard on our paddle board for some reason, uh, this little rubberized thing that goes around your ankle, or he shows you in a second that if you really want to cut off the blood circulation to the lower part of your leg, you can just put it up here by your thigh, and when you lose feeling in your toes, you know you put it in the wrong spot. Yeah, I'll put it on my ankle. But this is a must, a must, must, must have. I don't know why mine didn't come with one, but if you don't have one of these things, when the board shoots out from underneath you, when you do fall down, and you will, then you gotta go swimming after your board. So yeah, tie it to your ankle. And after going over all the shapes, sizes, and features of the various boards and why you would want or not want one of those kinds, then we went on to learning how to paddle while on land. Well, actually, before we learn all the multitude of paddle strokes we need to learn, we also need to learn where to stand on the paddle board when we get up. You don't want to stand way up at the front and you don't want to stand way at the back. You gotta stand right perfectly in the center or you're in trouble. And then it's officially time to learn the different paddle strokes. And they're not all forward strokes. You gotta learn some backwards ones too in order to turn around. Yeah, there's a lot to learn. Anyways, Daniel was great at showing us. And then it was time to put all our knowledge to work and actually get out there on the water. And you can see I'm on my board, on my knees, but I had a hell of a time getting up. The old hips don't flex the way they used to. But anyways, once I was up, I was a rock star, but getting up was a bit of a challenge. That's Janice paddling towards the shore as I'm still struggling to get up. She kind of rubbed in the fact that I couldn't get up as easy as her, but I also didn't take a board to the face like she did. So there's that. More on that in a moment. Just as proof that I actually did get up and paddle around, that's me in the background. What did I say? Rock star. It's written all over me. Anyways. It was an excellent, excellent day. And of course, when you attain this high level of learning, you need to have photos to prove you've done it. Here's the graduating class, all smiles. I want to thank Daniel and Daniela for an awesome day. And if you're ever in Sackets Harbor and you want to go paddleboarding, either rent one or learn how to use one, go there. Okay, we had a good time at the stand-up paddleboard intro course. Didn't know there was so much involved in having a stand-up paddleboard, but we learned a lot of different things. Janice, poor, poor, poor Janice got amazing. bonked on her nose. But when I did fall, the board bashed me in the yeah. face, so I got a bobo, I got a battle wound. Yeah, she's got a nice scuff on her nose now. But she's still extra pretty. Super pretty. Yay. Yay, Janice. It's all good though, I really left it. Yeah. See Daniel, the guy who was doing the course, and then uh, maybe over to Brett's place for a drink. So, we'll take you along with us. Vlog camera is always in hand. Yes, it is. Look at this. Perfect. The wind kind of died, and that's a lovely, it's going to be a lovely evening. Yes. We're going, we were invited over to Brett for a hang. Yeah. We did it. We bring our rum with us. Yeah. Bring some fixins for some fruit. 
Yeah. <laughs> we don't have much to contribute. We don't have, have much. We don't have any meat, meat or chips meat. or anything fun. So, oh well. We got grapes and pineapple. We do what we can. All right, another beautiful day again. Like no clouds. Un unbelievable this weather we're having. So it's been windy, windy, windy recently. But today, this morning, as you can see from the sail, it's not crazy windy. So I think this is my opportunity to fly a drone for once. I haven't done that as much lately. So there's the uh, Mavic. Let's go. Uh, Check out Sackets Harbor on this beautiful sunny day. It was a beautiful day to get drone footage and it turned out really great, but we were starved and we really wanted to go to this restaurant we heard of called Tin Pan Alley for breakfast. We heard the portions were amazingly big and yummy. So we wanted to do that and we were meeting Barbie, who's Brett's wife, at the place. What we didn't factor in is there was the lacrosse tournament, so there were tons of people in town this week. <gasps> is this the spot? So we're eating here eventually. So there's a lineup to sign in and then a lineup to get your table. But it looks fabulous, so who will wait? In the shade. In the shade. Huh. <laughs> Almost growing in the front of her. <clears throat> I love the Pretty aggressive vine. So Tin Pan uh, was too busy and they weren't taking any more breakfast times, so we're gonna go to this little place for breakfast instead. Look at all the people, holy crap. I'm sure, yeah. Okay, we are back at the scene of the crime from last year. Last year we did an episode on Sackett's Harbor and it was uh, a ghost town. And this area here was underwater. This is where we would have been able to tie. This is the town docks. Last year, if you saw our episode, we tied up to this building that was flooded. But yeah, Sackett's Harbor is busy busy today and this weekend um all the restaurants are rocking much different eh janice yeah much Very much different, different. Vibe now. And this is barbie hi hi we went over to their her house with last brett night. last yeah, night it was, was fun our, saddle, our stand up paddleboard class last night yeah. and her husband is a sailing instructor and uh we were he was who we were supposed to meet the first day yeah too windy so too windy we bumped it to tomorrow afternoon yeah cool so, yeah. so much much better Oh, and that place, those condos, their docks were all underwater too. And they had like floating pylons to show not to run them over. <laughs> yeah, interesting. We took the opportunity to walk around the town and see some things we never saw the first time we came. Sackett's Harbor Battlefield. Welcome to the battlefield. Oh, is there? Neat. No, we never came down here. Sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in today And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things. 
things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Okay, we're done our walk. Quite yeah. a quite a long walk. We went all the way around the battlefield, which we didn't even tour. we didn't even know that was there last year. Oh. Yeah, we got to know a little history of the War of 1812, the big battle at 1813 when a lot of American slash British soldiers were killed in that field. So, anyways, look at the uh, beautiful blue sky, and now we're back to our boat. The clear the water is, you can see every little weed. Every little weed. There's our boat, one big clothesline of drying clothes. <laughs> that way people think you're on your boat. It's very classy. Yeah, nobody will steal anything off, off your boat because they think you're on board. Okay, another beautiful day. We are heading back into town to go to Tin Pan Alley, like we okay. tried yesterday. Like much earlier this time. At 8.30 in the morning we're meeting. Yeah. So this time we should be able to get in for breakfast. And also today they serve breakfast till 3 p.m. So no chance we missed it this time. <laughs> ah, but it's a bit of a walk. So we made it. Yeah. We got a little lost on the way here. We got some extra stuff in. Beautiful wall of vines. And of course it's packed. But no big line this time, which is nice. We're earlier. Okay. It was well worth the wait. Look at these. They're huge. I don't know if the camera even does it justice. <laughs> put put your face in there so we know how big it is. <laughs> it's massive. Yeah, it is big. <laughs> wow. So, so we're in the Barbie van. Barbie van. <laughs> uh, going to. We're having Barbie breakfast. <laughs> we're we're going to a, a water camp. Yeah. Yes. And maybe Fort Drum. So for those who missed it, I bumped my nose paddle boarding. I flipped over the board and it bought me in the nose. I got a little nose. So now she's Frankenstein. He <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> he, kidding. He loves me anyway. I do. Uh, super winner of the road trip. So this is the Black River, and we're just on the edge of Watertown. So Watertown is called Watertown because it's surrounded by this Black River. It isn't on the lake like we thought. Middle of the road. It's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again I want to see your face Never will I be Be the same again well, I thought... All right, yet another beautiful sunny day here in Sackets Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brett. Hey everybody. Oh, yeah. This was who we were talking about was going to give Janice some instruction when we were first got to Sackets, but as you saw from an earlier episode, it was windy as hell. Too much. Too much. Too much. It's a good day now though. Yes, it's, it's breezy but not crazy breezy. No right. white caps at the moment. And so Brett's, who is an ASA sailing instructor. Yes. And he has a company called Sail Ontario here in Sackets. Yep. And uh, let him know what you what you offer to people who come to Sackets. Yeah, so we just grew the business this year. So we do sailing charters and we do sailing lessons. ASA 101 basic keelboat cert. And we'll soon be adding 103 and 104 coastal cruising and bareboat uh, cruising. And we do a sailboat rental. So you come take a lesson here. You get certified to sail. And then you can come rent a sailboat and you can get out on the lake and enjoy yourself. Yeah, great. So the plan today is just for him to do kind of a tiny basic uh, intro to sailing with Janice. Maybe an hour and a half to two hours out uh, in this bay here. And... Uh, you know, a little bit of the, the intro to sailing and some of the physics of uh, proper s points of sail and all that, and then we'll, we'll go out sailing. And Janice will take charge, and I will stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. It'll be hard. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Okay. All right. All righty, he's going to go over okay. the points of sail, Yeah, so we're, talk on... we're talking about the, the physics of sailing, right? What, what makes a sailboat go? And when you understand, when you understand that, everything else is easy. Mm -hmm. Everything. So okay. there's this French guy. His name is Bernoulli. Uh-huh. N-U-L-I. I spelled that wrong. 
it's questionable. But I adjunct philosophy, Bernoulli. not spelling. Bernoulli. Anyway, he said if you have this curved surface and the air flows over the curved surface, physics demands that it comes out on the other side at the same time, which means that the air moving over the top of the sur curved surface has to move faster than the air on the flat side, on the bottom. That creates a, high, a low pressure on the top and a high pressure on the bottom, and that means you get lift. So this is the wing of an airplane. The wind goes over the wing faster than it goes under the wing, and you get lift, and that's what keeps the airplane in the air. Mm. Now, take that same wing of an airplane, but stand it up, and stick it on a sailboat, and you have the mainsail, and you have the headsail, or the jib, and the wind is blowing this way. Wind has to go further on the outside of the sail than it goes on the inside of the sail, you get low pressure, and you get lift. So, mm. anytime a sailboat is sailing into the wind, it's not being pushed by the wind. Like thousands of years ago, the Vikings and the big square rigged ships, they would sail in the trade winds because the wind would hit the square sail and it would push it. And they could only go sailing with the wind or a little bit uh, uh, to the side. Nowadays, modern sailboats can sail into the wind at close to 30 degrees. I'll show you that in just a second. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Perfectly. Moving on. Mm -hmm. So because of that principle, we have these things called, we call points of sail. At this point, Brett took Janice through all the different points of sail and how we were going to practice that out on the water, whether it's trimming the sails, bringing them in, letting them out, whatnot. And it was entertaining, so I was enjoying listening as well. If you or your loved one is looking to get a little sail training in, I highly suggest Brett there at Sackets Harbor, Sail Ontario. As you head up into the wind, you trim your sheets. That's what he's saying. Pull on that. Tighten that up. Pull in that thing. Tighten that. Trim the sheet. Trim Got the it. Sheet. Okay. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to Me be too. fun. So much fun. And okay. so we're going to we're going to go see if Bernoulli was right. Okay, we'll test him out. All right. And then it was really just Janice getting out there and trying all those points of sail. By the time I do three or turns on the wheel, it's too many turns. So it takes um, a while to catch up. In addition to doing sailing stuff, Captain mm. Brett is a part-time skydiver. Yeah. And one lesson I learned in skydiving: relative work. <laughs> if you go fast try to do something fast yeah it slows the whole thing down because you get out of control right slow is smooth and smooth is fast so you're going crazy all over the wheel that's right just <laughs> slow and smooth easy correction relax and don't chase the needle okay ah, i'm going to do it that way flopping it's flopping so okay so <laughs> move more this way ah uh, that's one thing i can do i can head up a little bit and it'll start flying a little bit or I can move the sheet. Ease the sheet. So let's say you, you like your reference point. We're going to stay here. We're on a close reach. So let's okay, ease, okay. ease the sheet until that green line flies a little bit. One okay. Well, you did something right because our speed just went up. Okay then. Perfect. Something's wrong with that. So a little more maybe. It went up again. And I'm not turning the boat. Okay. In the absence of telltales, mm -hmm. when in doubt, let it out. Okay. When in doubt, let it out. So if I let the main out now. So the red one is going the right way, the green one's going the opposite way. Yeah, watch what happens when I use the main. Oh, 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 oh there it goes. You see it? Yeah. Start flying. Yeah. When in doubt, let it out. People never let the main out far enough. They think it's got to be in tight. When in doubt, let it out. Now, if I let it out too far, watch the front edge of the sail. Okay. Keep letting it out. The front edge of the sail, all the luck. See it now? Okay. It's like a big yeah. blanket to pull. What's it doing now? Oh, that's, that's too far. That's too far. That's too far back in, doing this by hand nice and easy. So you can Both ease it, yeah, right. ease the sail until it begins to luff, and then tighten it back in just a little bit. Okay. And that's easy. trimming the sail for that point of sail. Now, when I walked up here, we were doing two knots. Now we're doing 2.3 knots. Okay. A lot. And we'll do more when we get the jib out. Do you want to get okay, the jib so out? Okay, I'll do the jib either. The faster way. The faster way. Because something interesting happens when you fly both sails. Watch my wind. Well, it creates something we call the slot effect. It changes the angle of air going over the main. So now you have a 
adjust the main. You have to trim it, pull it into those coat tails a lot. And just don't stop plumbing. Perfect. Huh. And you just took the boat close to five knots now? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so those are okay. Good, good enough. So you're back on the, good enough. And I'm going to do the sheets for you. Okay. You're going to tell me what to do. <sighs> I'm going to look up and I'm going to see a little bit of luffing in the main. I'm going to say, hey, you got the course you want? You have uh, it in your course? Yeah, I think. And so it you... seems to be not. Like, is yeah. this accurate, Chris? I feel like I'm going... No, way good. over and yeah, yeah. this you're is getting great. like six is going 60. Yeah, so now head up a bit. Just a bit. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, that's my left and right issue. issue. All right. I'm gonna that, that's my left and right confusion. Bear away a little bit. I'm going to tighten your mane just a bit. So what you can do is steer to where the telltales on the Genoa are good and just keep that nose good and then he'll work on the mane. So let's say we're set now, we're happy. Right. Now head up just a bit and watch what happens to the main suit. I go more head, into the windshield? Head up a little bit into the wind. See it starting to bubble now? There yeah. it goes luffing a bit. Yeah. All right, bear away. So you can keep the sails full by steering the boat. You can mm -hmm. keep the sails full by adjusting your sheets. If you have the point you want, it's a little bit of a dance. Head up a little bit, keep the boat uh, moving, bear away a little bit, keep the boat moving. Okay. Good. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Why are you squatting? So I can see shit. Oh, like, I got I'm you. Too tall. You're too tall to see <laughs> underneath the bimini. That's fantastic. I don't have that problem. I'm 5'6 on I a good day. I need a peaky day. window. <laughs> boat through the wind. Okay, so you so learn the crew, prepare to come about. Okay, prepare to come about. The crew, and then the crew gets ready and when they're ready we look back at you, we say ready about and you say helms a lee or coming about or tacking or brace yourselves, we're turning whatever floats your boat. Okay. Normally it's helms a lee. Okay. Okay, helms so you're going to prepare to come about. Okay, prepare to come about. I'm ready about. Okay, now, so coming a, about. Well, and a technique when you're close to shore, you have a reference point now. Mm -hmm. Your tack is going to take you roughly 90 degrees. Okay. So look 90 degrees out there and pick a new reference point. When you turn the boat, just bring the bow right to the that edge of that point. island there. Perfect. That's yours. Okay, doing ready it. Go. So ready to go. So ready is that go. it? I'm doing it. Do it like you mean it. I'm going. Do now. it like you mean it. I'm going. It's happening. Do it like you mean it. So now we're a little too close to the wind, do you think? What's it say yeah, on your wind gauge? Yeah, so, so bear away there a little bit. Go. There you go, you feel it? Yeah. Okay, so pick your course that you want. Okay, those telltales on the front sail are okay. Pick what you want. Let me know when you got your course set. Um, got, pick something on the, on the shore you like. Okay, I see it. Pick the the red is burning. Okay. And how is your point of sail? Okay, that's good. Yep. You set? So now it can be. So now I can trim. Okay. It's uh, really, it's almost counterintuitive. You yeah. get like crashing through the waves and the boat's really healed over and you're like, yeah, we're really going now. Well, you, you're not. You can go faster if you fall off the wind a bit. Okay. So bear away to a close reach, from a close haul to a close reach. Telltales won't do anything until we ease the sheets because when we bear away, we ease the sheets. Now you're at a close reach. So pick a new reference point and steer it back. And generally, that's how the afternoon went. We tacked back and forth all at different points of sail, and it went quite well. Janice even brought the boat into the dock, which I didn't originally plan for her to do, but Brett was confident she could do it, and it, and it worked out. Hey, hey! So we had a we, we, we had no incidents. Like Zero. Me. You did fantastic. You sailed all points of sail, which we did on our whiteboard, which are not here anymore. All points of sail, you tacked, you jibed, you hove to, and for the first time you docked the boat. Woo! Fantastic Daddy. job.
<laughs> Thanks for letting so me now be she part can, of it. Yeah, great. Now she can do it and I can just sit back and relax. Perfect. You can do the fenders and get me drinks and <laughs> yeah. things like that. All right. Well, that was okay. <laughs> that was great. Perfect. Sail it. Ontario. Love good. it. We'll put the uh, information in the description below. Yeah, the link below, below will yeah. have his contact info. Great. Okay, so Janice did it. I did it. She did a great we job. Survived. I tried to stay out of it as much as possible. The boat stayed in one piece. Yeah, awesome. And she docked, which I wasn't originally well, expecting. I don't think I docked. She, yeah. like, you thoroughly. turned a little early and the wind blew us. Docking. Yeah, uh, the wind blew us off. A lot more practice. Yeah, there was a guy on the dock, so we threw him a line. So yeah, we were, instead of doing the We whole were probably thing. a foot and a half away from the dock, but you did really good. Yay, me. Yay, Janice. All right, so that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and there's plendy of more sailing coming around in the Thousand Islands. We're heading to Simcoe Island tomorrow from Sackets Harbor, and uh, yeah much, much more. Mm -hmm. So until next time, safe cruising. Bye. Bye.